So in this course, we will learn about all the features we will provide and implement all the features like real-time messaging, cloud storing, and other features. Agora is a real-time engagement platform that provides cross-platform SDK for implementing voice, video, and broadcasting capabilities. How Agora.io works? Agora.io identifies each user based on the app that has created from that consoles, provider billing and other statistical information based on that app ID. After signing up with an Agora console, you can create multiple apps with unique ID and when initializing, you have to provide that ID to client as argument. The following company use Agora SDK like HP, Unity, uh, Bose and Talkspace and other the following companies. Agora SDK and documentation along with some demo codes are available for Android, iOS, Mac and Windows, Web, Electron, Flutter, React Native and Unity. Agora pricing plan. You have to pay as you go. First thousand participant winner free every month. Volume discounts are automatically applied. For 0 to 10k minutes, Agora provides free each month and after that you have to pay and uh, based on that like for 100k to 500k you have 5% 5 discount and uh, all other have some discounts like 7% and 10% real time messaging first thousand monthly daily active user are free after that you have to pay 14.5 dollar every month interactive whiteboard for whiteboard you have 0 to 10k free minutes each month free after that you have to pay agora provide analytic of voice and video the startup plan is free standard premium enterprise are paid plans agora provide cloud guardings you can record that a video and audio call on cloud to get more information about Agora pricing plan, you can fetch that QR code and the QR code have a link to that full details of Agora pricing plans. So let's start making setup for that project. So first create a new folder. Rename it as Agora Web App. Open it. Type here CMD. And now we have to open that project with Visual Studio Code. So type here code dot and the project will open in Visual Studio Code. Here we have to add some folder and files. The first will be CSS folder. And to that CSS folder, we have to add that style files. So the first style file will be style.css. Now we have to add another folder, it will be for JavaScript. So add the JS folder. In the JS folder, we will have that index.js. And now let's add that index.html file. And here we will have to write code for that UI design. Now let in JS folder, we will have to add that Agora SDK. This is the latest version of Agora, version 4.11. In the next video, we will start with that coding for UI design. Now let's start with coding. First, we will have to build UI. So change the title to Agora Live Stream Web App. I am using that library Visual Studio Code extension which will show me all the live changes made in the UI at the right side. Throughout this course I will use jQuery which is a JavaScript library and make it easy for us to write a JavaScript code and the other will be that bootstrap CSS. So in your browser type for jQuery link. Also for that bootstrap link, click on that first link and also here click on that first link. Here I have to copy that google cdn script file link.
and I have to paste it in the head tag of that index.html file. Then I have to copy that bootstrap link. Here you will find that CSS file link and that JavaScript, but I will use that CSS file link. So copy it and paste it here. I will add a comment. So this will be that bootstrap link. Copy it and let me paste it there and change it to jQuery. We will have first row block. In the row we will have two columns and the content will be in the center of that columns. Apply some padding. Copy that block and paste it again. Let me type hi hi. Now here I will have that streaming block. In the streaming block we will, I will have a row and the row will have two columns. One block will be for that local user and the other will be for that remote user. So let me format the document and that remote user I will write that in paragraph tag and both the column have to take all the available space so it will be called H12 so let me check it it's now ready here at H2 tag the text will be Agora live user In the other block we will have user input form so add h2 tag the text will be agora input form the first will be of that text name of that input field will be app id id will be app id class will be form control placeholder will be enter agora app id then i have to place it inside in the div tag and apply some shadow effect copy that and paste it again that will be it will be channel and the placeholder will be agora channel the last input field will be for token it will be optional so the placeholder will be agora token and also add that optional remove that extra input Now we will have two buttons, one will be for that join button, so the input type will be submit, value will be join, class will be button, button primary, forum control, which will be 25%, apply some shadow effect and the button will be small. Copy that and paste it again. Change the value to leave and the ID will be equal to leave. Also add ID to that join button. Let me add that a div tag. Copy that and paste it inside that div tag. Add a class row 
this will be call and the display will be flex the due display type will be flex justify content around and the id will be bottom box here i have to add another due tag add id to that due tag and this will be remote user also add class and the class will be player now let's copy that and paste it here this will be a local user and the class will be that player so now let's create a ID for our project so visit agora.io this is the agora official site here are some trusted user of agora Agora provide voice calling, video calling, interactive live streaming, real-time messaging. Also SDK is available for Android, iOS and Mac, Windows, Web, Electron, Flutter, React Native and Unity with demo code. Agora provides interactive whiteboard, Agora Analytics and Cloud Recording. There is uh, some information about that, what Agora provides and what are the services of Agora. So let's click on that get started. So if you haven't any account of Agora, you have to create your account for free first. Then after that you have to generate that app ID from that console. After that you can use that app ID in your Agora app. In order to start with voice calling, video calling, streaming or real-time messaging, you will need that app ID. So create an account first, then you will get app ID from here. I have already account, so I will log into the console. Here is the simple console of that Agora, showing some test project I have created. So here in Agora console section, go to that project management. In project management section, if you have created any project, then it will show there. So let me create a new project. And enter the name of a project. I will create it the name of Agora Web. So in use case, select any use case and I will use that education and tutorial. So Agora app will be created and here will be the app ID. So click on that copy button. The app ID will be copied to the clipboard and we will use that app ID in our project. The token are optional, we do not need it and and for channel we will add any name from the next video we will write code for that voice and video calling so this was the ui we have built for that voice and video calling and now let's start with that coding for agora video and audio calling so first we will have that config variable and to the config it will be of type list and the mode will be that rtcu And the codec will be EP8. After that, we will create a new variable client, and client will be equal to Agora RTC dot create client. And to create client, we will pass that config as argument. Then we will create a new variable option of type list, and the option will have that app ID, channel, token, and UID and all of them by default will be null we will get it runtime 
so we have to create a local tricks for the local user and the local track will be of type list in the list we will have that audio track when by default it will be equal to null and that video track and it will be equal to null so create a new list variable remote user and by default it will be empty so let's set on click call on that join button so when we click that join button we will get that call to this function and the function will be asynchronous and it will be an event function now we will have a try and catch block in try block we will have that option dot app id and option dot app id will be equal to that user input in the app id field The channel will be equal to that user input and the channel field and the token will be equal to that user input token in the token field in the cache block we will we will get that error if any error occur Finally, if no error occur, we will enable the leave button and by default that leave button will be disabled. So let's try. Click on that join button and then leave button will be enabled. So we have to disable that join button. So change it to join and the disable will be equal to true so let's try again enter get app id channel name and click on the join and the join button will be disabled and leave button will be enabled in the upcoming tutorial we will create asynchronous function for join to join the video calling subscribe so that remote user can subscribe to the live streaming and leave function so that the remote user can leave that streaming on the button now let's create a synchronous function join another asynchronous function subscribe so that remote user can subscribe to the channel asynchronous function for that leave telling that video calling And this should be function. Now it is asynchronous function, and the try block will use await call to the giant function, and we will get two other function. The first will be handle user published. And the other will be handled user unpublished. So in asynchronous join function, write client dot on pass that user published and we will call to that user handle user published function and let copy that paste it and then this will be user handle unpublished this should be small letter not capital we will have to initialize that option dot uid which will be randomly generated We will initialize also the local trace.id and local trace.video. And it will be equal to that await promise.all. So we will initialize it in future.
here right client dot join and to that join function we will pass options dot uid options dot channel and the token can be null Another you will write Agora RTC create microphone audio track to get that user permission for audio and the other will be the Agora RTC create camera video track so let's try enter app id channel name and click on join and we are getting error option is not defined so this will be op options not option so replace it with options and now this should be a token now come back and let's try again Enter app ID, channel name, and click on join. And we are getting permission to the microphone and camera, so it is working. Now let's work on that video to show in that use local user block. So this will be console dot error. And now local tracks dot video track dot play. And it will be playing the local user view. Which is here in the index.html file. And it will play in the local user view. In the, in the local user we have the, the graph text so copy its id and paste it in here and then we will some, show some text of that we will show local user and the id of that local user in parentheses and this should be braces and write await client or publish and publishing will pass objectives dot reviews and we will bring in console published successful now let's try again Enter app ID, channel name, click on, click on allow, allow and we are getting some issue and uh, we are getting error and that UID is not defined. So let's check it. So we will have to fix it. This should be options.uid and now we will try again. Enter that app ID, channel name, and click on join. Allow, allow, and and our local user stream will appear there. So let's check the issue. And I think the width and height is not appropriate, and it appears there. So I will change it to 160 pixel. So let me so let's copy that style. Copy our declaration, go to that style.css and dot clear class. We will apply that CSS. So now come back to that browser, refresh it, enter the FID and channel name, allow it. And our local user video stream will appear here in the local user view. And in the next, we will implement that for remote user.
so now we have to implement it for that remote user so that remote user can join that channel so to that handle user published function we will pass two arguments one will be user and the other will be that media type and we will create a constant id and the constant id will be equal to the user dot uid and remote user id will be equal to user And to subscribe, we will pass that user and meter type. And so, to subscribe, we will get that user and meter type. So, let's await type await client dot subscribe. And to that subscribe, we pass user ID and media type, which is a Agora function. And we will create a new variable cost ID, it will be equal to user.uid. Then we will put on console. Subscribe successfully. After that, we will check the user media type. So if the user media type is equal to video, we will run that if condition and it will be equal to video, we will run that if condition and also we will check for the audio and if there is audio, media type equal to audio, so we will play that audio. So user dot audio track dot play and it will play the remote user audio then we will create a constant variable layer and that constant variable will have some detail in double quotation we will add some HTML code We will have the div. So call the div. So add ID to the div. And the ID will be equal to layer dash record dash. UID and then we will have that paragraph tag and then we will have that paragraph tag and the paragraph tag class name will be clear name and this will be equal to remote user and inside the parenthesis we will have that ID of the remote user and at the last we will have that div the div ID will be layer dash uid and the class of the id will be equal to layer so let's format it well now we have to append that layer with a remote user so call that append and to append we will pass the player as argument then user dot video trick dot play and the play will have that player and the player will have the argument as player trick so that we can play that user video trick
so the final data of the it's try refresh it enter a fid china the the token will be one so allow it allow it and our local user appear now we will copy that name and paste it here and their pointer will be if you not use it so uh, that channel and fid allow it and we are getting some error we have to fix that and that uid is not defined so this should be id not uid and now let's try again refresh it enter uid channel name click on join allow it allow it refresh it enter fid channel name and this should be now and allow it after some time it depends on the for local trades will appear and for the remote trades it will take some time and after some time the remote user stream will appear below your local user so now let's work on that view button so when you press that view button you should leave that channel so if you try you can join allow it and in the local video stream will appear now i click on the view button it doesn't work so let me refresh it and we have to write code for it so the host we will set that and click on the that view button So we we'll try code for that view button. When the user click that view button, we should view that video stream channel. So we get enter user unpublish. We will pass user with argument. Create a new constant variable id. It will be equal to user dot id. And to get remote user id, we will delete that remote user. And we will set that id dot remove and when we click on that view button we will remove all the remote user from remote block so in asynchronous functionality we will have a for loop we, the for loop will have trade in, in local trades And create a new variable trade, which will be equal to local trades. And in create method, we will call the trade name. And if trade is not equal to null, so we will stop the trade. We will close the trade. After that, we will set the local trade to undefined. And again, we will set the remote user to empty list. And the remote user ID will be equal to empty HTML. Also, we will have to disable that view button. Attributes and the disable will be equal to true. So let's make that true. Now for the home button, let's type here the home button ID. And the attribute disable will be equal to false. Then we have to 
set other client dot b which is scora function to leave the channel so after that we will successfully leave the channel and also in your local user block we are showing user id so we will set that to empty text copy that and here in after view we will set that to empty and after that we will show on console so after that we will show on console leave successfully so now let's try refresh it internet id and channel you can join allow it allow it and that and that string will appear now if you click on that tree and we are getting an error and this should be capital so the straight t will be capital and now let's try again refresh it internet id and channel join and allow it refresh it internet id and channel click on join allow it allow it so both local and the remote user will appear in both the text now if you click on the three button that remote and local user from this current text will be removed and the local screen of that other channel will not be removed if you refresh that page and try to join again we will join again the same stream so in the next tutorial we will implement that root and only mic and video now let's search for that icon library we will use icon library to add icons so search for font edition icon library to use icon for camera and microphone so click on this link so click on this copy this tag and then create index.html file paste it here and add a comment this will be icon library now add a new detail and subdue to detail and subdue Red class to that parent detail and the first class will be that your buttons, then display type of that we will be flex. Also, let's try to do display type will be flex. Then just define content. Now we have to add that video icon and this will be for camera to for the camera and also for microphone to make an only microphone. Add a heading, background should be defined, should be of type rounded and apply some shading. Copy this tag and paste it here and then add some margin. Remove that justify content and we will implement a parent block. And this should be justify content image and position will be equal to relative. And the child position will set the to position which absolute. Into that microphone, we will add microphone icon plus. Into that camera icon, we will add a plus video camera icon. Now, we have styled as CSS. 
We will set the font size of it icons. And it will be taking 20 pixel. Now let me another JavaScript file in this folder. And here it will be home part of this. Now we will here get IP class. So copy that. It should be for microphone, not for video even. And then place that class in one and copy that. Copy it and place it here. And now it's accurate. Now we have to come in now at the bottom we can also get link to that new JavaScript form and provide this in the JS folder. So we need it now we will copy that video camera icon class link to that and provide this place tag and place that class name and we will set put file on that button and the event function will run. To that event function we will have if condition. The if condition will check if for that icon has specific class. The if condition will check for that class or icon. If is true, then we will add another class. So this will check for other icon. Link video icon and this will be at a dash video dash space. So copy the class, remove the tag and paste it here. We will add that class if we will add that class if the condition is true and remove the previous class so the icon can change. Do start remove class. We will remove it at a video dash camera class from the tail. Also, we will click here. Also, we will use this condition. And if else condition, we will reverse it. Now we will check for the FA video station else condition. If it is available, then we will change the to of a video camera and that is a solution to be now let's start and it's working now let's add some CSS so that it can change it probably so this will be CSS and it will be the color and it will be equal to red And now let's try and for good that I can change and color also change. And I can change gray to that camera icon, so we will change the color to gray also. And let's try here and that camera icon changes and color also change. Now copy that and paste it here. Now we will set that for microphone icon. Copy the microphone class, paste it here. Copy the other class from microphone and replace it to the FE video camera. And now we and now let's check for the And now let's see for that microphone icon. And let's see the microphone has this class. Copy this class and remove the tick. Click on microphone slash. And now both are working. Now let's try here. Refresh it. Click and now both are working well. Now in Windows not yet. Yes, now in Windows not yes, but check for the local case the video tag. Copy that. Go to that helper that is. We will paste it here. 
and say another to false. Copy it, add here some column, paste it here, and just show the key. Now for microphone, we will copy this and paste it here. And just instead of local, we will just check it and set the local as well. And it should be for the false, and then go and we will set it. And we will copy it, and we will else condition and we will set it. Let I put equal, after star, where get F ID, join again, and click on join. We love it, and now, now we get I can add a tree, as it is under the region. So, we need to add a little more, we will add some more than that. So, we are going to do this file. And copy the GR data class. Go to the star more spaces. Go to the and paste the class. And set the data index to 1. Save it. And let's change it to 2. And now we have to do the first group. Add it by the channel and remove it. And our local stream appear and the three data go we get camera data. And microphone toggle we get a microphone button. And by default this icon shows so we will have to hide it when there is no video stream. So to activate help button please add a few function. First, we will hide your button. Copy the class. Paste it here. And set CSS and visibility to equal to hidden. Now, copy that function and paste it here. So, it will by default it hide. And now copy that function, paste it here. Instead of hide, we are going to show. And this should be visible. And now if I copy that function and paste it below, the button will show. Now we have to drag that function in enter that place. Here, paste it here, and that video could easily be still publish. It will show the button. Now we have to place it in index.js file. Now also copy that back to that index.js file. When we leave that string, when the user leave that string, that icon button should hide. So just try. Enter F ID, channel name, I love it. And our string will appear. And we click, we can toggle that video and audio. And now if I click on this view button, the user will leave the channel and the button will also hide. 